Hello friends, and welcome to Troidal Power Presents the Power Playthroughs Project with Troidal Power. I am your host, Troidal Power. This is the podcast where we play games in a powerful way. And today we're checking out a bit of Super Magbot. This is a new game. It's actually out as you're listening to this. I think it's going to have come out, either comes out today or the day before. It depends on what order a couple things shake out. In any case, um, this is a game, there is a demo of it that I've tried on the eShop already. It's a platforming game without a jump button. Instead, you use magnets to get around. It's, it's kind of neat. I only played a little bit of it because immediately I was like, I am intrigued by this. I reached out to the publisher and was able to get a copy so that I could give you guys some live first impressions here. So uh, we're going to check out a little bit of Super Magbot here. If it's something you're interested in, like I said, there is a demo available that you can check out. But for now, let's fire up Super Magbot. Astro Pixel, the screen says, followed quickly by Team 17. And I think uh, when I when I pulled this up just to test my setup a minute ago. I think it goes, yeah, straight into a story here. We're looking at space. For the first time ever, the magnetic forces of the universe equalized. And we see a red and a blue cosmic swirl going together with a beam of light shooting between them and a big burst of energy with bricks flying out of it. The Magnesia Star emerged, enlightening the darkness of the universe. And it's this big purple and gold cube, uh, gold edges with a purple core. The meteor magnets ejected from the star fell over the surrounding planets, and we see red, blue, and yellow bricks falling to the ground to a world that looks like if somebody did a pixel illustration of Minecraft. The ones scattered on the surface acquired different shapes and properties, and now there's red and blue blocks filling in the landscape. But the others reach the core of each planet, becoming planet fragments of immense power. And there's a couple red and blue rocks in the... the uh, crusts of the planet, and then a green core at the Earth. Unfortunately, this great power was noticed by Magsteroid, a giant evil asteroid. He's a big purple thing that's eating planets or something. And we can see a green planet, a blue planet, an uh, orange planet, a purple planet. Guided by his lust for power, he fixed his trajectory to consume the Magnesia Star. Each of those planets is cube-shaped. Now we see a city. To save the galaxy, the inhabitants of Magtech decided to send a magnetic hero. We saw a rocket taken off there. To alter the course of Magsteroid, Super Magbot must get all the planet fragments. And there's there's, a, there's the Super Magbot flying a spaceship. He's orange, blocky kind of robot guy. He's a good friend. Uh, all right, we've got start game, how to play, options and credits. We'll check options for gameplay. Sensitivity is an option. HD rumble is on. Quick restart says no. Interesting. Colorblind mode says no, and language is English. Audio, we've got the volume and sound effects. Controls, we can remap the controls, it looks like, which is cool. Um, and then assist options, infinite color charges. Uh, okay, so the assist options here at the bottom says, Super Magbot was designed to be a challenging experience. If you find it too challenging, feel free to enable any of the following assist mode options. Please note this this will prevent your time from appearing on the leaderboards. And you've got infinite color charges, endless air time, and checkpoints within the level. That's pretty cool. We'll leave all that off for now. Um, check in on the controls. We move with our left joystick, we aim with the right, and you shoot a red ray with the right triggers and left ray with the blue triggers. I just punched the microphone, I do apologize for that. Um, let's go ahead and get into Super Magbot. It looks like there's four worlds to go through on Magsteroid's trajectory, uh, and, then, and then that final Magnesia star. So we're starting at Magterra, which is the green cube world. And it has a total of 27 levels, and we're going to start at level 1. And uh, here, as they say, we go. Magterra, it says, over a pixelized star field. And we see uh, an orange spaceship coming in for a landing, it looks like. Flying in amongst some, some green clouds, and breaks below the cloud layer. Down amongst some rocks, we're looking at a side view of a pixelized landscape, there's little tree creatures, and one of them says, Yikes! What was that? Another one who wants to exploit our planet! Shh! Car, he's gonna hear you! And my little Super Magbot comes out, and this guy says, Greetings, foreigner! Welcome to our humble planet. We haven't received a visit in ages. What brings you- uh, what brings a techian like you here? No response from my character, but he says, I see. You are looking for the ancient planet fragments of Magterra, but why do you need them? Ahem. 
This is the other trick I, I told you, Fee. Fi? Fee? Fi? Fo fum. Uh, my guy jumps and points around and stuff. He's doing a lot of animated pointing. And they're like, oh my gosh! What? An evil asteroid is coming to consume our entire system? That's terrible! You should have said that sooner. In that case... Oh, in that case, there's no time to waste. We're gonna help you find the planet fragments. This magsteroid thing is not gonna touch our Magnesia star. Let's go! And we all set off to the right side of the screen where there's another sleeping plant guy. Uh, and, and then, uh, some taller creature with, like, a mask on and blue hair says, Here are my squishy little friends. Did I hear planet fragments? They are all mine. They have a great power and I want them all. Oh no, it's Aver. Be careful, Magnot. He's a being of pure evil. Thank you for your kind words. And now there's steam coming out of his head, and he holds something up above his head. It's a cage, and he throws it on that sleeping guy, and the sleeping guy's in a cage now. If you want to see your friend again, you better bring me the planet fragments. <laughs> and he holds up a, a smoke bomb or something. No, it's a regular bomb, and he throws it on a bridge, and it explodes. And now there's an empty uh, uh, canyon between us, and he drags the cage tree friend away. Magbot looks very concerned, and he turns back to his tree friends. Don't worry, Magbot. The bridge is destroyed, but our planet is full of hidden paths. We will show you another way, but you're going to need your magnetic powers. I hope you're ready to use both of your magnetic colors, blue and red. Ah, I'm ready, let's do this. Alright, we go running off the left side of the screen this time. I didn't expect so much story. My memory of the, the brief amount of the demo I played is that it just dropped you into things. Here we go, level one. This is what I played in the demo, I think. Oh, the pixel art zooms out a lot. Weird. I really liked how big the pixels were in the cutscene there, but for the level it seemed out. I guess that gives you more playfield. Um, all right, we'll talk to our friend here. Red magnet, uh, aim the magnet with the right trigger. ZR to shoot red ray. Same color does repulsion. Opposite color does attraction. So there's a red platform here. We're gonna shoot red at it, and that makes us fly up in the sky. And then we'll shoot blue at this blue one, then red at this red one, and then blue at this blue one to get to the exit. And uh, I got a planet fragment taken. One one time, 26.08 seconds, new best time. We'll continue on. So, um, man, here's the thing, is that that uh, that intro of like, our planet's full of hidden passageways and stuff, totally set this up like it was going to be a roguelike adventure. Or not a roguelike, but a, a Metroidvania-like adventure, right? Like we were going to have to adventure through the crust of the planet in order to find our way to, uh, to that trap friend. Um, but that's actually, ooh, pressed the wrong one. I pressed, I pressed blue on a, on a red when I meant to press red on the, oh, I just shot myself into a cliff. Okay, which side is red? Okay. Oh, I see, up in the top right hand corner, I have two red charges, and in the top left hand corner, I've got two blue charges, so I can look at that to remember which trigger does which. If I had uh, red and blue Joy-Cons, like what the Switch came with by default, except for I got a gray one, then it would be a lot easier, because you would have your red controllers on one side and your blue controllers on the other side. It'd be kind of cool uh, if this game had an option to... Um, I, I guess it probably ha it had a colorblind mode, right? I just didn't look at it. Um, it would be cool if it had a option to customize the colors, because I have, like, one... I have a red Joy-Con and a gray Joy-Con, so if I could make it red and gray instead, yeah, that'd be kind of neat, wouldn't it? Um, anyway, uh, it's it's not it's not a Metroidvania game, is what I was starting to say. Oh my goodness, we fell to our death. It is instead uh, more along the lines of a, a Super Meat Boy or a what was that one game? Ninja Plus Plus or something? Um, where uh, or, or or Celeste, I guess, is is the current example, right? Oh, now I'm having to use magnets to attach myself to the ceiling in order to jump. So before I was just doing pushing off of things. Now I'm having to magnetize myself to things. Oops, to uh, to 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 uh, uh, emulate a jump because there's no jump button in this game. So you magnet onto the ceiling in order to jump, which is pretty fun. Um, it is, it is interesting because it definitely flexes a different sort of muscle than a platforming game typically would. But uh, the basic structure of this game feels very familiar if you've played uh, Super Meat Boy or um, Celeste or any of those. Okay, okay, Troy, come on. I have to do a blue one and then a red one, like, back to back. How do I do this? I don't feel like... There we go. Ah, okay. Well, I did better, but then I fell. Now let's go red off of red, blue off of blue, blue to red, red one, red one to the exit. Cool. 
So right now we're uh, all in jungle-themed areas. Our obstacles so far have mostly been either um, pits or... Uh, shoot, that didn't work. Hmm. Um, pits or saw blades. Right now I have to... I have to, like, drop down towards a red one and then push myself back up. Oh, I did it! And then fell to my death on the other side of the platform. Okay. Woo! Okay, wasn't angled down enough there. Okay. This level is tripping me up. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. So there's three platforms in a row that I have to, like, fall partway down and then catch myself. Oh! Okay, that last one I think I'm gonna have to do a... I'm thinking I'm gonna have to pull myself towards it and then push off, maybe? Ah, gosh. Okay. I like the music, and I like the pixel art. I mean, the pixels... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Uh, the pixel art's still uh, very attractive designs. Like, I, I like the, the aesthetic uh, styling of this quite a bit, but... Um, I liked I liked that zoomed out view where you could see your pixels a little bit more. I would guess that that or the zoomed in view rather. I would guess we're like twice as zoomed out as we were previously. That was wrong. What does this tree friend have to say? He's just giving a basic tutorial. Oh, he's recommending I fall below the platform and attract myself towards it in order to fly upwards. That works way better than what I was doing. Hey friends, sometimes it helps to read. The tutorial messages. Okay, well, I still am failing utterly, but the concept at least makes sense. I mean, my white would have worked too, eventually. Ah, dang it. Okay. There we go. One more. No, I missed the very last one. Okay. That was the wrong trigger. Okay, let's go. Woo! And woo, and woo, and last one. There we go to the exit. Whew, took a while. That was level one eight. I don't know how many levels the demo had in it. Um, I feel like I should be like, I should have checked that and made sure that I was doing more than the demo for uh, my first impressions here. But also there's only four worlds. I don't necessarily want to do the whole game. Although I guess I'm not really um, spoiling too much for you here because I'm not like in depth describing each obstacle. I'm instead just trying to give you a a, a sousant here. A, a, oh, I pushed myself into a saw blade. I'm trying to mm, give you just a mm, uh, a flavor test here, a, a, a appetizer, if you will, of what um, this game is like, what Super Magbot's like. And what it is like is a uh, pretty fun, quick, ow! Oh, um, I'm, I'm curious what that quick respawn option. In fact, can we get to our options here? We can. Uh, what was, it was gameplay, quick restart, yes. And colorblind mode, let's turn that on. Oh, colorblind mode just puts uh, positive and negative symbols on everything. So instead of just red and blue, you now have plus and minus on things too. I actually think that's kind of nice. Um, oh, jeez. I don't know what that quick restart option was though. I did. Okay, off of there, and then up there. There we go. It is the hardest thing so far is convincing my brain to process what colors I need to push here. So like here, I have to push off of a red one and then grab on to a different red one. So I have to do red and then blue, both while aiming at red, which my brain just doesn't want to process. It's like, but wait, but that's kind of fun. I, I like it. Oh, okay. Blue, blue, finish line. There we go. Magterra level 111. A big pit here. Ooh, there's like a power-up or something. Let's see if we can grab that. Um, well, I grabbed it and then fell to my death. It says I've got one of them. There's a second one over here, so we're going to grab that one too. Now we have two of those things, whatever they are. Uh, star fragments, they are. Cool, we got two star fragments. Don't know exactly what that does, but we got them. Ah, this level also has two Stark Fragments in places that would be uh, easier to miss. Last time they were pretty uh, required placements, I would say. God, this is fun. Hey, y'all. Uh, like a quick platformer that's like 
focused on like one snappy gameplay mechanic, um, a quick precision platformer. Uh, Super Magbot, it might be your bag. How do I get this one? I can't, I can't jump high enough to get it. Is there something up there that I can magnet to? No. Huh. Ah ha ha, got it. I had to launch off of one magnet and then while still in the air, launch off of the second one to do like a, a double jump of sorts. Level 113. Oops, let's do that one. And then, ah, to some saw blades, okay. Red, blue, blue, red. How am I gonna get that one? There's a there's a there's a star fragment again that is in a very uh, high up position, and I'm not sure how to jump that far in this game where you can't jump. You know? Okay. Come on. Red, blue, blue, red. Mm. Red, blue. Blue, red, and then we come down here and do a red. All right, and then, oh! Okay, push myself into some saw blades right at the end there, okay. Red, blue, blue, red. Oh, I can jump off of there, I can't, oh, nope. I sure can't. He sure can't do what he just tried to do. That sure didn't work. Ow. That was, that was red, okay. I think I have figured out how to get the star fragment. I just have to not screw it up. I think I can push myself right there. Nope, it didn't work, okay. Hmm. If I hit right there, yeah, I got it. Good job, me, now you just have to get this other one and die, and die is what you have to do. You have to get this other one and die. Okay. I see, so when I'm aiming, I have like a, a laser that aims out, and when I'm aiming at a magnet, um, it glows It glows a little bit to let me know that, oh, yes indeed, you are aiming at that magnet. Ah, shoot. I missed the other star fragment. I need to get them both. Why am I getting them both? I don't know. Is this a game all 100%? Probably not, because games like this usually end up getting too hard for me near the end, but... I feel like, I feel like I should, you know? Shoot! Got them both and died again. Okay. Blue, red. We'll shoot off of here to get that one, and then this one. Ah! Blue, blue, red. A blue... There. And then this one. I need to press the trigger a little earlier. Okay. Oh, oh, I just did everything bad that time. Oh, okay, good start. Red, blue, blue, red. Blue, and then, there we got it. I was at the end of the level, I had both star fragments, and the very last thing you have to do is use a blue, um, a blue witch dinky, and you have to, um, Push yourself up to, or pull yourself up to this blue one, and instead, instead of, of firing a red at it to pull myself, I fired a blue at it, and so it pushed me away into some saw blades. This might be the longest I've spent on the level so far. Oh my, okay. I just butchered that one. Let's try this. Hmm. Um. Up. Oh. Okay. Blue, red. Push myself off of here to grab that one. Here we go, this is the time. I missed it. Can I? Oh, 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 I did something cool and then I died. Isn't that the story of every platformer game though, huh? Oop, that was the wrong button. That's also the story of every platformer game. Nope, that was, that was, yep, okay. Ah. Um, I am curious about the end of the world here. 
um, because uh, when it showed me how many levels there were, the very last level had like, ooh, scary boss face on it. So presumably there's going to be some sort of a, a, a boss type interaction at the very end of this. Um, and I'm, I'm curious to see what that looks like, but uh, given how this level's going, <laughs> I suspect I might not make it to the boss fight in this recording. Um, I am not going to stress about getting the fragments after this level, though, because this is crazy how long this is taking me. Okay, we finished the level. All right, we did it, friends. 113, we got the star fragments. On to the next level. It's like Celeste and the dang strawberries, you know? And if you don't know, now you know. Oh, okay. This one's fun. You gotta um, jump over saw blades. <sighs> Not into them. Okay. Hitting the wrong button is a major annoyance to me in this game. Because I'm doing it a lot. And... It is totally like a mental thing. Like it is not mm, not a problem of the game, really. It, it is a problem of my brain completely struggling to process which button I need to be hitting at which point. And I don't know, like I suspect that's something that as I play it, I'll get used to. But honestly, considering how many of these platformer games I've played, I kind of expected my brain to get used to it very quickly. And um, so far, no such luck, you know? Ooh, we got a pit of acid on this level. Ooh, and crumbling platforms. Okay, okay. So we gotta go fast, which means we have to push the right button fast. And there's nothing like uh, some extra pressure when I'm already struggling to process what's happening in a video game. <gasps> oh, I was at the end. I was at the end and I died because I pressed the wrong button. Can you believe it, friends? I pressed the wrong button. I know, it's a shock. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start wrapping up my, my thoughts on, uh, on this, my initial thoughts here. Um, mostly my thoughts are that I think this is a really cool concept and it is well executed in the gameplay. Um, it, is, it is a weirdly challenging concept. I mean, the gameplay principle of like, let's make a platformer where you can't jump is very cool and like works very well. Hey, I finished the level. Um, and changes up the way that you you look at the level, which is cool. Oh, now there's magnets that disappear when I activate them. So they're like walls, but I can pull myself through them or in this case, push myself off of them incorrectly. Um, and they, they disappear as I, as I attached to them. Ah, dang it, I did it again. Um, it is it is tough for me right away in a way that these sorts of platformers usually aren't. Like, you know, if, if you've played Super Meat Boy, you can pick up Celeste and be like, oh, okay, cool, I got it. And then eventually Celeste gets hard because Celeste is a difficult game. But, but the start of that game <clears throat> won't challenge you if you have played a lot of platformer games. This one will in a very interesting way because it ah, because it doesn't do it doesn't function the way that we have all been trained to expect a game that looks like this to function, um, which is a very neat concept. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think uh, I can give this um, a pretty hearty recommend for fans of platformer games who uh, would be curious to try a platform game that does something, ooh, I almost just killed myself, does something just a little bit different with, with uh, a format that's become pretty standardized. Um, we're up to 117 now. Um, I don't know how... Um, so far, it has been tough enough that I expect it's not going to be like an immediate thing. Um, the first world here, we're, we're uh, over halfway through, but... Um, I would expect things are only going to get tougher later on. However, it's quite possible that as soon as the like controls click for me, dang, um, this level is really fun. This one I'm on right now. You have to do a lot of like change jumps. It's very good. Uh, I suspect that once the controls click for me, um, I might start uh, speeding through these, and I'm like, I might come back later to these first levels and be like, oh my gosh, those are so easy. Once I know how to how to play the game. Um, 
so yeah, it, this might not be a terribly long game with only, you know, four worlds to play through and I'm already... Oh, now there's bullets shooting and I have to time jumps to get over the bullets? How cool! Oh, I breezed through that level. I felt good. 119 now. You know what? Heck it. We're gonna see if we can get to the boss. Okay, I got shot. No, that was the wrong button at the very end. Okay. So this one has um, bullets shooting up, and so they kind of function like fireballs, and you have to angle jumps, angle and time jumps in order to um, not get hit by the bolts. This is really a game that, like, every, every single time I die, I think, you know, if I just took it a little slower, if I took things just slightly slower, probably wouldn't have died there. Um, but, you know... Games like this are always, well not always, but there's always a push for like, I just said not always and then I said always. There's usually a push for like, trying to accomplish the thing as fast as you can, right? Like that's that's a big draw for these kinds of games. And I could totally see, ah, that was the wrong one again. I'd see people getting really into um, accomplishing, dang it, uh, accomplishing these tasks very quickly as as a, a extra way to provide longevity to this game um that's probably not my scene i am i am more a, like experience the thing and then move on rather than speed running the thing um but i but i could see somebody like aiming for mastering this game that way Ooh, moving saw blades okay i'll jump over some moving saw blades sure you know what already i'm starting to feel like feel a groove kick in a little bit here in terms of pushing the right button at the right time. Although I did just die as I said that. Um, once it, when you get the flow right, it feels really darn good. Ah. Oh, I've just realized something crucial, friends. When you're in the air, if you fire your magnet gun, even if you're not firing it at something, it slows your descent ever so slightly. Which is, um, oh no, <laughs> that was, that was bad. Um, which, which can be, uh, invaluable if you are, if you have just slightly, uh, butchered a jump. Um, that can be a nice way to potentially save your life. Ah, I didn't save my life in that case where I said that I died. I was hoping I was going to save my life dramatically as I said something about saving my life, but I did not. I never figured out what that quick restart does, did I? Is it maybe, can I pause? No, there's not a restart there. Well, I just saw a spider crawling out of the corner of my eye. I'm not like afraid of spiders desperately or anything, but when you see a spider unexpectedly, it's a little bit of animal instinct still that goes, oh no. Uh, ooh, lots of saw blades, moving saw blades and stuff on this one. Okay. I like, uh, you know, one thing that I really like about this is the, like, the level gets broken down into, like, a series of small obstacles we have to surpass. So I'm like, past one, okay, here's the second obstacle. And then you move on to the third obstacle. And that's really where you can take your time, is look at the obstacle ahead of you and think, okay, I'm going to press red and then blue. And then this one I'm going to go red, red. And this one I'm going to go red blue sweet and then this one is just a red there we go end of level that's what i need to do just slow it down a little bit level 1-23 now okay oh i don't know how am i gonna get past that oh i see what i need to do i need to follow this saw blade in and then use a blue not a red which is what i just did to hop over it Okay, and then I didn't look at what the next obstacle after that was, which was really just a continuation of the same obstacle. So we're going blue, and then blue. Okay, and here we're going to go red, and then red to the end of the level. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, 124. Oof. Okay. Slow down, Troy. Red, blue. No, oh, okay. This, 
Steam's fun. I, I, my, my, my recommendation, my, my wholehearted recommendation is getting more and more wholehearted by the minute um, as I play here. I, I, I like this. This is very fun. Uh, how am I going to do this? Yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, I have to run on. Okay, okay, I see. Okay. Red, blue. So I'm going to run onto that and do a blue to jump. And then a red to jump. And then a blue to pull myself through. Didn't have quite enough time before I got hit by a saw blade. You know how that happens. Okay. Blue. Ah! Okay. It has that same gratifying, like, dang it, I was so close that, uh, that I got a lot when I was playing Celeste. I really like Celeste, y'all. I have not gone back to that game at all since I beat it. Um... I might need to one of these days. 124 complete. What I say there was 27 levels, right? Ah, okay. Oh, that was the wrong button. Ugh, okay. I have to get across. There's saw blades, there's shooting guns, and uh, collapsing platforms that I'm landing on. So I have to go kind of speedy on this part, which is antithetical to shoot i made it that time and then i pressed the wrong button um to what i was describing as the way that i need to play this game in order to not uh bungle it up dang it okay blue blue i got shot blue blue red red okay this one's gonna be red red blue red 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 Blue uh, into a bullet. Okay. Blue, blue, ah, blue, blue. Got shot. Blue, blue, red, red. That's obstacle one. This one is red, red, blue, red, red, red. Ah, into a bullet. Shoot. Got to figure out the timing on those bullets. There we go. End of the level. Sweet! Alright, we're on to 126. Um, so that's going to be red, red, red is the first obstacle. Ready? Red. Nope! I'm, what am I saying? It's red, blue, blue. Red, blue, blue. Okay. This one is blue, red, Blue, red. I don't know which I'm going to do there. Well, I did the wrong one to begin with, so. Okay, okay. Blue, blue. Okay, we're going to do blue, red. Yeah, okay, so blue, red, blue, red is that one. So, red, blue, blue, red. Nope. Red. Blue, 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 red. Okay, that time it would have worked to do it the other way. Okay. Blue, red, blue... I don't know how to make that obstacle. Okay. Hmm... It was indecisive. I couldn't decide which button to push, and so I ended up pushing both of them and then neither of them. <sighs> we made it! Yes! Alright! That takes us to the boss, right? Here we go. Cutscene time. We're zoomed in. We're running up to that boss guy. He's got a bunch of treasure around him. He says, Finally! <laughs> you took your time! Quick, quick, give me the Magteria's planet fragments. I don't care about this stupid asteroid. The fragments! The fragments are mine! Now, ooh, anger smoke's coming off of him, and he goes, Enough of excuses! It's true what they say about the robots. You're all really stubborn! You'll give me the fragments one way, or the other. And then he goes off the screen to the left. Leaves me standing there with his treasure, I guess. Oh, no. He's got a big saw blade contraption, and he jumps inside of it. And, uh... 
And now he's chasing me. It's got five saw blades on it and a motor on the back and a green uh, box on top of it. Now it says level 127. We're being chased. It's a chase scene. Okay. We gotta, we gotta whoo, and then whoo, and then up. And then that's a big gap. How do we make that jump? That's like an impossibly big jump. I have to be like falling off of the edge as I as I jump here. Or I just need to start my magnet on the other side a little sooner. Let's try this. Nope. Okay. Okay. Come on. Ah. There we go. This is hard. So this is the first time I've had um, a scrolling screen. All the others have been uh, a single screen view. This one, the, the camera scrolls. And I also have this big saw blade machine chasing me. So I can't like pause to consider my actions. I just gotta go, you know? And, and try to either, I guess, improve my reflexes or memorize like a whole long area's worth of inputs. Okay, that's right. Ah! Okay. Ah, okay. We've got four more tries I'm going to give myself and then we're ending the episode. Okay, that was one. Come on, little magnet boy. Yeah. Yeah, good. Good! Bad. Two. Three. All right, this is the one. That was not the one. That was not the one. That was not the one. Um, yeah, that, oops, that was the wrong button. That's the wrong button. All the wrong buttons. Um, we're just gonna keep listening to me die over and over again in the background there for some for some backing tracks here. Um, yeah, I, Super Magbot it was a lot of fun. It's it's a different take on that small precise platformer, but it's pretty cool and it's very addictive. Just like these games tend to be, where you're just like, oh, I was so close that time. I just want to keep doing it over and over again. Um, I'm sitting here watching my magnet boy get destroyed over and over again. And all I want to do is go and I'm like, I want to save him. I want to complete the level. I want to beat the boss. Um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty bite-sized package all in all with four worlds. I've played through one here in about a little more than half an hour. Um, so I guess that's not actually too bad for, for a game like this. You know, you, you'll get probably two, three hours. Good at it as I am, or as bad at it as I am, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, yeah, that's Super Magbot. You know what? You know what? We're doing this one more time, Super Magbot. We're doing one more life. All right, not this one gonna die all right here we go my fingers already feel like they have forgotten how the buttons work this is not a good start oh actually i'm doing okay it just feels weird blue red blue red and then we're gonna do a red and a blue and a red and a red blue blue red we hacking did it, y'all! He chased us all the way into a pit of acid that we jumped across, and we saved the wood friend that was in a cage, and we got the planet fragment! Hell yeah! Next level. Look at our- look at- we saved him! We saved our little tree friend! Ah, and this guy says, Ah, you're safe! Thank you very much, Magbot! We couldn't have rescued La without your help! And I like go, yeah, with my arms on my hips, like superhero pose. And the other guy goes, hmm, you better leave soon. You still need to collect more fragments from the rest of the galaxy, right? And I nod my little robot head. And then uh, there's there's the spaceship. There it is. And uh, they're all looking at me as I point to my spaceship with an exclamation point. And this guy says, don't worry about us, Magbot. We must stay on this planet with our kind. Everything's going to be all right. And I shrug and shake my head. And then step into my spaceship, and uh, Law, the one I rescued, goes, Good luck, Magbot! And then my spaceship jumps up into the air and takes off, and so does this episode of the podcast. Uh, we have completed World 1 of Superman. Hey, and hope for the best. Oh, wait, there's more cutscene. It says, A few moments later, dot, dot, dot. 
And there's the, oh, there's the big angry purple meteor. It's like flying across the screen going, rrr, 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 rrr. and it's flying at the green planet. Oh my god, it shoots right through it and destroys it. It like sliced it in half and now it's flashing purple and exploding. Well, yeah. Um, now, now it's showing a fractured version of that magnet. It says broken Magterra unlocked. Oh, ho, ho. So perhaps there are in fact eight worlds that could be played. It still shows up as Magterra on the list. Well, it says Broken Magterra. Oh, Broken Magterra has nine levels to it. And then I can press X to go back to normal Magterra. Okay, okay. So there's there's four worlds plus four smaller bonus worlds. And I'm guessing they're gonna be extra difficult. Anyway, that's enough of this. You guys, you've heard me talk enough. You know whether this game is for you. I think you should check it out. It's a lot of fun. There's a there's a demo available and the demo gives you a good slice of the gameplay. So um, I, I played the demo for like three levels and was like, all right, oh, this seems pretty cool. So um, go give the demo a shot. Uh, check out the game. Thank you to the publisher for providing a copy for me to review. And until next time, friends, tap A and hope for the best. If you enjoyed my show, it would mean a lot if you would rate and review it on iTunes, share it on social media, or check out my Patreon. You can find all of my stuff at troidalpower.carrd.co. This has been a presentation of the We Can Make This Work Probably Network. Follow us on Twitter at Probably Work for more of our questionable content. Also, we have a website called ProbablyWork.com.